Hello everybody and welcome to our Sunday Mass. I'm offering Mass today for Dan and the Miller family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us turn to our Lord who loves us so much and ask him to forgive our sins and help us to be better. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me. Terror from every side, denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watched for my downfall. Perhaps we would be seduced into error, then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, who probe with justice, who scrutinize the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm. In your great love, Answer me, O God. In your great love, answer me, O God. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. In your great love, answer me, O God. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favour. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Lord, answer for your love is kind, in your compassion turn towards me. In your great love, answer me, O God. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the sea and all its living creatures. In your great love, answer me, O God. Second reading from the book of Romans. Sin entered the world through one man, and through sin, death, and thus death has spread through the whole human race because everyone has sinned. Sin existed in the world long before the law was given. There was no law, and so no one could be accused of the sin of law-breaking, Yet death reigned over all from Adam to Moses, even though their sin, unlike that of Adam, was not a matter of breaking a law. Adam prefigured the one to come, but the gift itself considerably outweighed the fall. If it is certain that through one man's fall so many died, 
it is even more certain that divine grace coming through the one man Jesus Christ came to so many as an abundant free gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. The word was made flesh and lived among us. To all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Do not be afraid, for everything that is now covered will be uncovered, and everything now hidden will be made clear. What I say to you in the dark, tell it in the daylight. What you hear in whispers, proclaim from the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Fear him rather who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny, and yet not one falls to the ground without your father knowing? Why, every hair on your head has been counted. So there is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of men, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. But the one who disowns me in the presence of men, I will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the coronavirus that has claimed lives and affected so many people. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and the cause of this virus and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of doctors, nurses, medical staff, experts and all healthcare workers that they may minister to the sick with love, compassion and skill. We pray for all those who have died from COVID-19 and for their families and friends. May the Lord bring them to the glory of heaven. We pray for all who are ill from the virus, that the Lord may heal them soon through the ministry of others. We pray for all who work in any way at this time to help our society function. Those who are involved with producing, selling and delivering food. Those who keep our transport systems and utilities going and all those in other frontline jobs. We pray for all who are struggling with isolation, loneliness, depression and financial problems. Give us all the grace to deepen our trust in you, O Lord, and so support each other in every way we can. Let us pray in silence for our own personal intentions. And now let us ask for the prayers of Our Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All holy men and women, pray for us.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Dan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd just like to say thank you to Frankie for sending in the recorded readings and responsorial psalm today, and also say thank you to the choir for providing our final hymn, and to Veronica for doing the flowers. And can I also say thank you to you for all the messages of, of sympathy and consolation that are still coming in. There have been a lot already and there are still more coming through the door every day on the occasion of the death of my mother. And just to say that her funeral uh, will be taking place. It's a graveside service tomorrow at midday at Highfield Cemetery in Stockport and her body will be laid to rest with her parents and uh, older sister who are in the grave there. And I'd be very grateful if you could just remember her, Teresa, and the family in your prayers, particularly tomorrow on the day of her funeral. And we look forward to the day when she can have a memorial mass, as indeed all those people who've died during the pandemic and the restrictions that it's brought to us all. I hope you all have a very good Sunday 
And now let us ask for God's blessing for the week ahead. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>